Hey friends, I recently stumbled upon this TED talk by Tim Hartford on slow motion multitasking and I thought I'd share that with you. What does this mean? Well, I think we're all familiar with what multitasking means, but slow motion multitasking means something different than the everyday multitasking that we are sometimes forced to do. What it means is in the long term working on multiple projects that are seemingly unrelated and how doing that can actually help you make progress and make you more creative. So what it doesn't mean is hopping around frantically from task to task and project to project because you're pressed for time. So this, this doesn't refer to these constant interruptions that result from jumping from project to project. And there's pretty good evidence reviewed by this TED talk that show that scientists that have been consistently creative over the entire span of their career have been doing this. So they have been working simultaneously on multiple projects at the same time and have actually changed fields an astonishing amount of times. So why might this work? Well, the first reason is that what creativity really is, is transferring from one field to another field, an idea or concept or a method. And so if you are actually simultaneously working on or thinking about seemingly unrelated problems within reason, <laughs> then actually this can happen, right? That you make these connections and you, you see these unexpected links between topics. And this is, well, a lot of what creativity is all about. It's not inventing something entirely out of the blue. It's really making connections between things that are already known, but from different contexts. And it's clear that if you work on seemingly unrelated projects in parallel over a longer period of time, you're much more likely to see these connections. Another reason why this may be a really helpful approach is that when you are stuck in making progress in one particular project or topic or theme or problem that you're working on, well, you can jump over to this other one that you have also still going on and you can maybe make progress then. And once your mind is more relaxed and you go back to this other problem, you actually may see that you can make progress again on this. And basically being cross-trained in a bunch of different topics or having the background of the literature in a, in a couple of different problems or themes to work on, this may actually help you solve certain issues when you are stuck. But of course, this multitasking in the long term, so having several projects sort of running at the same time, it also comes with challenges. And the most significant challenge is, of course, how do you keep this organized? How do you keep track? How do you not lose everything when you go from one project to the other project? And this requires just being organized in some way. So you need to have some organizing principles, some, some boxes online <laughs> or um, online features or like on paper where this helps you staying on topic and to make sure you don't forget anything that you've already done. But of course that goes for every project that you do, right? So maybe we should be doing more of this slow motion multitasking. I've certainly started doing that maybe a few years ago where I have some things on a slow burner where I start something, it starts developing, but then it also gets stuck. Then I move around to other things, make progress there. And then after I come back, I may sometimes finish these other projects because I've had an insight in the meantime or I learned something from another context. So it sounds pretty reasonable to me and I think a lot of people are already doing that without having this word <laughs> but maybe if you already do this now you have a term for it and maybe you can develop this to its fullest extent or to, the, to its greatest power and if you don't do it maybe this is something that might work for you. So. Let me know what you think in the comments if you are doing something like this already or if this is potentially interesting to you. I'd like to hear from you and with that thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!